I do need some book spray. We got one. Those little trip hooks are hard to get out. Uh oh. We're going to figure out around these trees. Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today we find ourselves in a little bit of a challenge. Today we're at a creek. We're at a little local creek after work. We got Chris right back here, already ready to go. We've got a subscriber that sent us these micro crankbaits. Shout out to Robert B, throwing down a challenge. Said, guys, I wanna see what y'all can do with these. Me and Chris are about to put them to the test. So we've got these bomber mini crankbaits. They're in a chartreuse crawl pattern. We're gonna fish with those. We're gonna see if we can't get some spotted bass, some little creek bass. I think there's a couple large mouth in here. Anything over a pound is a big fish for in here. And I've caught twos, two and a halfs out of here. There's some pretty decent fish in here, but I think this little crankbait's gonna do pretty well today. Also, if you wanna send us a challenge bait or recommend a bait, go to the comment section, recommend us a challenge bait that you want to see us try right now. Also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe button for us and throw a like in there. I need to get these likes up. I mean, I've got nearly 200 people watching these videos and how am I only getting 30 likes? Come on, people, hit the like button. So we're going out today. We're gonna to fish with those mini crankbaits. We're gonna catch as many fish as we can. We've got about two, two and a half hours to get it done. It's about a two and a half hour run to the pickup car that we've got downstream. And uh, Chris, you ready to go? Do it. Chris is ready to go. We're gonna go, let's go. Oh, you're gonna have to get wet. Water shoes, buddy. Water shoes. Or Crocs. You could always wear Crocs. <laughs> you want me to push you? Here, buddy. Let me help you out. You know, if you were in your little boat, it'd probably work out better. So on the conditions today is it hasn't rained in a little while, so we're gonna be hitting bottom a lot. Chris more so than I. Number one, because I'm, I'm I'm lighter. Just no offense, Chris. Number two, my boat's lighter. As I was saying before in the intro, if you guys know of a bait that you want to challenge us with, want to see us do a challenge on, leave it in the comments below. We'd be more than willing to go out and buy some crazy baits because I've already got a couple baits that I want to challenge ourselves on that I know are flops. They were like made in like the late 80s, early 90s baits. They were absolute total garbage when they came out then. We're gonna try them now and see if we can't get them. If you've got a bait that you wanna send us, um, send it to us. I, you just drop it in the mail to the uh, mailing location below and uh, we'll see if we can't, uh, can't go out and uh, get them on it. Smash the like button for creek fishing. We're not scared to go anywhere. We'll go anywhere and fish. So if you wanna see more creek videos where we come out here on the creek and try out different baits or we just come out on the creek in general, smash the like button, folks. Let's uh, let's give it our first send. How about that? All right, we're gonna try our best not to burden this this up, cause I'm throwing on a bait caster, and uh, this thing is pretty freaking light. Okay, I got it. Fishing one. What ain't you feeling, baby? Oh boy. What ain't you feeling? The crankbait master strikes again. There you go, Robert B. Set your boy up for failure. Nope. <laughs> you can't catch one fish and automatically declare yourself a winner. Right now I'm the winner. <laughs> you know with these challenges, we're not challenging each other, right? Like it's a... Oh, it's always a challenge with each other. It's a it's a challenge that can we catch anything with them? Well, I've already approved that point now. I'm just beating you. <laughs> I'm moving on to the next challenge. <laughs> this isn't a 1v1 challenge. It's a bait challenge. There you go, little dink. Well, we got one on the micro bait. There you go, Chris. Can't see it. I know, it's too small. Bye, little fishy. Nope. 
I've had several hit like that, but it's like they don't get to the hooks. I wish the hooks were a little bit bigger. That'd also give it a little more weight. Look at this little, little geek. Well, quick catch and release on that one. You can't outdo me. You can't outdo me. Got all wrapped up. I don't know how I got in there. <laughs> Was yours bigger than this? <laughs> Leave me alone, bugs. Making me angry. I do need some book right. A little bit better, not that much better though. Just a good fighter. He's better. Two minute fish landing penalty. Say hello. We got one. Yeah. All right, that's a much better one than we've been getting, but still like maybe half a pound, maybe. Non-scorable, but I'll take it. So Robert, that's four for Chris, four for me. I think we're crushing your challenge right now. I mean, they're not big, they're not much of size, but what would you say, Chris? You think we're crushing it? I mean, I, th I think we're doing it. So there you go. There's a nice little spotted creek bass. Gonna let this one go. Live to fight another day. See if we can't get one or two more. I think you have five though. Are you sure? We found the little pocket of fish. All about the same size too. Thing I'm noticing is I caught one when Chris let his go. He caught one when I let mine go. This might be the same fish. It's a really dumb fish. <laughs> there you go. Not too bad for our creek guy. Oh, that's a good one. That's a bluegill. Fights a lot harder than bass. There we go, nice little pan fish. These things in this creek are so pretty. I mean, look at all the color on that thing. Nice orange belly, got some blues, browns. Chris, just we just doubled up on the pan fish. When you pull them out of the water, they're like super bright orange. Oh yeah. Don't know what's up with that, but. I think it's a bluegill though. It's got the bluegill. Uh, bluegills look all kinds of colors. I'm gonna say this is a sunfish, is what they would classify this. Well, bluegill is a sunfish. I uh, know, but there's like a thing they just call a sunfish, like a perch. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I don't blink, I'm pretty sure that's not a bluegill. That's bluegill. Got another little bluegill. This is actually a pumpkin seed. There you go. Not a bluegill, I agree. See if I can get him unhooked quick enough so y'all can see the colors on this guy. Maybe you can hold him in the water. No, I've done that before. You know what happens when I hold him in the water? I'll put him in the cage, but he's a spot. They get away. And look at the colors on that fella. Look at that, he's got all those blue dots. That's some crazy looking color. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Almost like something you'd see under water, like in the ocean. I almost said underwater. Oh my goodness. Hey Chris, look at this fish. It's like something you'd see underwater. Uh oh. We're going to figure out around these trees. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to an impasse. Man, that's a bunch of trees down there. No one that looks further down too. You got it? Yep. And I'll hold it 
try to hold it still. And then you can get it, crawl out to the other side. Or are you gonna try to walk that log all across? I'm trying to walk it at least a little bit. Holy crap, we're almost there. I should shoot my machete out and cut our throat way through. That wouldn't have taken all night. <laughs> oh, welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. No! I don't know what to do. Surely it'll stop, right? Alright, I'm gonna jump right there. Are you good? What? Uh, do you see? Like I'm wearing part of the creek. Like it looks like I really like I oh like I pissed myself. All right, guys, let's go wrap it up for today. We're losing daylight. Luckily, we made it to the... Let me turn this way. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for today. Luckily, we made it to the takeout spot. We gotta get all our gear back up to my truck and then get back to Chris's truck, load his gear up, but we did it. I think we successfully completed the micro bait challenge. We had a little bit of an issue there getting over all those logs, catching a lot of dinks. We actually got multi-species. I don't... Yes. I say it's a bluegill. You say it's a some sort of sunfish, which you're not wrong. Like you covered the whole sunfish genre. But it's not a bluegill of the sunfish species. Bluegill is of the sunfish. I know, but it's not a bluegill. It's in the sunfish family, but it's not a bluegill. Okay, I'm gonna play that game too. I say we caught a panfish. Right? <laughs> I mean, my goodness. But anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like this type of stuff, if you want to see more of the creek, we'll have to figure out a way to handle some a different way because of those down trees. But we will do more stuff at the creek. We'll do more bait challenges. Again, if you've got a bait recommendation, throw it down in the comments. Leave us a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button. You guys know what to do. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we're going to get out of here and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace. Bye.